Okay, so we're going to talk about linear speed and angular speed. So the best way I think I can explain it is, here you are, the person, and you have this string, and on the end of the string is a rock, and you're twirling it around your head. Now don't try this at home. Okay, but anyway, you know, you've got this rock on a string, and you're swinging it around above your head, right? Okay. And so this rock here, it travels in this rotation here. That's angular speed. So it's rotating so much per time, okay? So angular speed, we use um, an omega. That's omega. I don't know if that's one of our Greek letters we talked about earlier, but omega is equal to the angle, okay? divided by time, okay? Now, linear speed, here you are, you know, you're twirling that rock around your head, and then you let go of the string. Then the string's gonna, or the rock's gonna take off, depending on where you let go, and it's gonna travel at a speed. That would be the linear speed, okay? So it's distance, um, S, linear speed, they use a V for that, divided by time, okay? So this is representing the arc length. It's how far. Now, you know, if you really were twirling a rock around, you know, on a string and you let go of the string, eventually the rock's going to fall because of gravity. But um, it's the linear speed is how far it's going over time, the velocity of the distance or the displacement, okay? Now, if I put this together, if I take V and I say that's equal to S over T, but then I say, well, S, I have a formula for arc length, it's R theta, so I would have that, and then if I replace that theta over T with omega, then I get R um, omega, all right? And so, and this is radius, by the way. That R is radius. Okay, so velocity can also be given as the radius times the angular speed, okay? So I think those are all the formulas. There's three of them. There's linear speed, there's angular speed. So it's going, it's traveling, it's not going any place, it's just traveling in a circle but it's how fast it's going around that circle. And then there's also um, the velocity, the linear speed, uh, in terms of radius and angular speed.